all right good people today is wednesday the 21st today is wednesday 21st the agenda is on the board we're gonna do the warm-up that's fine all right i don't have time to check today because all the foolishness that went on in that hallway um we are going to finish our group work and it's on word problems today we're doing inequality word problems and I'm gonna do a couple with you because we struggled a little bit and we're gonna do um, equation word problems. So it's word problems in general, okay? That's what our thing is going to be today is on word problems. We have our Wednesday homework. We're gonna label, there's a homework help video that will go out to you at two o'clock on the remind page. I need you to study. Please study. Okay. And look, I'm going over these a little bit by little bit each day, but you need to be working on these equation problems because you're going to see uh, very similar equations on your quiz at the end of the week. So that's why it's super important that you go ahead and get this done. So you'll know, oh, I don't know this. So then when I go over it, it's not the first time you've seen it and you can correct yourself on the steps that you're messing up on. So please make sure that you're doing this on your own so that when I'm going back over it, you will be able to correct yourself. Okay. All right. We're going to write our homework down and our planner. I'm going to give you a couple minutes to write that down. looking at week four don't forget that your planner is a grade so please make sure that you're actually doing what i'm doing all right so we're going to check off from yesterday if you watched the video check it off if you completed the homework check it off if you did some studying in math check it off if not don't check it off okay tonight is wednesday math one We are going to, tonight, you need to make sure that you watch the video. If you need help, the video is optional. Same thing, baby. We need to make sure we complete the homework. If you need to add the homework from last night because you didn't complete it, you need to make sure you add that so you can check it off. And then we need to be studying. And this is easy study just because... You can work on these problems to see if you can get the answers there, okay? Make sure that you also review your notes on expressions, equations, and expressions. Become professional with that. Solving equations, combining like terms, distributive property, um, and solving equations. Review those things. Any questions? Tomorrow is Thursday, so I can do tutoring tomorrow at 3 o'clock. So anyone interested in tutoring, tutoring tomorrow at 3? If not, then we can skip it. What, what time is the game over? It's a, yeah. Okay, so tomorrow's not a good day for you. Anybody else? Friday is the quiz, though. Friday's the quiz. I mean, I don't mind doing Friday, but it's the quiz. Yeah, Friday's the quiz. All right, so no one's interested in that. So, it's nay, it's nay. All right. Let's look at the sheet. I'm going to do another one for you. I'm going to do two. I'm going to do five and six. Please make sure that you're actually doing these on your own. So you'll know. I don't need to go over the, I already did those. Mm -hmm. My piles for the calls. All right, so let's do it. Let's do five. What do we do first to solve the equation for number five? What are we going to do first? Distributive property. So that means we're going to multiply negative three times both numbers in the parentheses. What's negative 3 times 1? We got negative 3 
What's negative 3 times a positive 7x? Negative 21x. Bring down the minus x. Bring down the equal. Bring down 12 minus 7x. Any questions about the first step? All right, what are we going to do next? Very good, Abdul. Combine like terms on each side. Do we have any terms to combine on this side? Yes, we do. Which two terms? Very good. Negative 21 minus the x. We can combine those. What does that give you? Negative 22x. Don't forget to bring down the negative 3, the equal sign. Can I combine these two terms? No, so let's just bring those down. Any questions about that step? Okay. Now what are we going to do? What's next? I hear somebody mumbling, but I can't make out what they're saying. Move the variables to the same side. Okay. Okay. Which one do you want to move? Do you want to move the negative 21x over here or a negative 7x over here? Okay, how do you move a negative 7x? You add 7x to both sides. Do you understand, baby? Do y'all get it here? Okay. <clears throat> All right, bring down the negative 3. What's negative 22x plus 7x? Negative 15x. Mm -hmm. Bring down the equal. What is left on this side? It's 12. Any questions about that step? Okay. Now what are we going to do to get x by itself? Add 3 to both sides. All right. What does that give us on this side? What's left? Negative 15x is equal to what? 15. Very good. Now what do we do to get x by itself? Divide by negative 15 on both sides. What's 15 divided by negative 15? Negative 1. So x here is equal to what? Negative 1. What color is negative 1? It's blue. So everywhere you see 5, you're going to color 5 what? You're going to color 5 blue. Yeah, baby. Like, what well, you mean up? What are you? Like this? No. Oh, damn. Okay. You're welcome. I have to try this stuff on your own. That's why I'm not going to do 6 right now because I still see a couple people. You know, I see quite a few people that haven't done six yet. Yes, baby. Do you have an answer sheet of all Yes. Can you check no. I don't know about heart. Any other questions? Okay. All right. And I don't want to give it to y'all. You know. All right. So I'm going to do a couple and then you're going to do the rest with your group. Okay. I'm going to do a couple, and we're writing inequality. They shouldn't even put inequality expressions. It's not inequality expressions. It's equations, okay? Let's take that off. That's misleading. All right, so we're just going to do some inequalities, okay? That's very misleading. All right, the first one, we're translating. See if you can do it. Some people don't have it. Some people already have it. Twice the sum of x and 3 is less than 5. See if you can do that one. I'm going to pause for the calls, give us a chance to think about it. I'm going to walk around to see who has it. All right, here we go. So most of us got this right. Wonderful. You said 2 times, and what are you? It says twice, actually. Twice, so that means multiply by 2. And you're multiplying the sum of these two numbers. So that's x plus 3. Good job. And that is going to be less than. So this is less than 5. Any questions? 
It doesn't say solve it. It just wants you to write. The ones they want you to solve are the other ones, 5 through 10. So all you have to do is write the inequality there. Raise your hand if you got it right. Oh, you got it right? Good. Well, like, can I put the two on the other side, like, after the two? Can I put down one? Like, uh, mm -hmm. this, x plus 3, yeah, and then two. Okay. Yeah, same thing. Okay. All right. Number two, two-thirds of uh, z plus 6 is greater than 5. See if you can get that one. Okay, so look. How would I write this one? I write what? Two-thirds. What else? Parentheses. What do you say? Seven. Somebody oh, somebody said seven. No, not seven. That look like a seven to y'all. Oh, Maybe. No. Oh, that's Z what? Z. Z. Plus six. Close the parentheses. Is greater than what? Raise your hand if you got that right. Okay. Don't forget that it's two thirds of this. You see it? Do you see it? It's two thirds of that whole thing, not just Z. All right, number three. One fourth multiplied by the sum of T and nine. How would I write that? Because most of us already had that anyway. One fourth. Oh, sorry. I'm getting ready to write four. Oh, my Lord. One fourth. Go ahead. Parentheses. T minus what? No. No. Plus. Plus nine. Okay. And then at most is nine. What does that mean? That's less than or equal to nine. Because it can't be over nine. But if it can be equal nine, because that's the most that it could be. Okay. Number four, and then you're going to do five through 10 with your group. Number four, how do we write this? Half of seven added to the product of H and four. Of H and four is at least one. How somebody raise your hand so we're not talking over each other. Anybody know? Yes, baby. Go ahead. One half. Hmm. One half of. This is going to be parentheses again because it's half of this. So how would I write that? I say half of and whatever this is. How do I write this? <laughs> well, what are we doing first? We have to do the second. Yeah. Right. So what's next? Seven, Seven plus eight. Plus Four H. Close the parentheses. Now what? What's at least? It has to be at least one. So it's greater than or what? Equal to one. Do you see it? Okay. All right. So now in your group, I need you to finish five through ten. That I'm gonna give you the equations word problems with the equal sign. This is inequalities. The next one I'm giving you is equations. Okay, so let's look at it. All right, number five, Shh. see what you got. These are the ones you have to write out and solve. It says the quotient of a number, that's division. That's the quotient of a number. It doesn't tell you the number, so we're gonna use a variable. We can use X, somebody said. So we got X and Five. So how do you write that? X, x or n over over five. over five. Okay, we said x, so let's stick with x. Okay, you wrote another letter. That's fine. Then we said um, 
is no greater than. How do you do no greater than? Less than or equal to what? 450. Any questions? How then do I solve this um, inequality? Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you solve it? It says what's the possible value, so you have to solve it. What do I do to get X by itself? Somebody said it, but you're not saying it loud enough. Yes, baby. Multiply both sides. What is that noise? Oh, Jesus. Multiply both sides by five. All right, so when we multiply both sides by five, that gives us X on this side. Bring down the inequality. And 450 times five, what's that? Okay, 2,250. Okay, so it's all the numbers that are less than this number here. Okay, those are your possible solutions. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, but yes, ma'am. Shh. Is that better? Okay. We're going to look at number six. Can you still see it, babe? It says a yellow taxi cab charges $2.75 flat rate. So they automatically have to pay this amount. Okay. Um, and 65 cent for every single mile. So if it's one mile, it's going to be 65 cent. If it's two miles, it's two times 65. If it's three miles, it's three times 65. If it's five miles, it's five times 65. So you write this as... You automatically have to pay the $2.75 plus you have to pay the $0.65 cent for every mile. I'm going to use M for miles. Whatever the number of miles is, you're going to multiply it times $0.65. Cent. So we have $0.65 cent times number of miles. Any questions about that? All right. So no, it's, now it says that Emma has no more than $14 to spend. She can't go over $14. So what inequality do we put between the amount that she can spend and the $14? It has to be less than or equal to. Because she can't go over 14. Any questions? What's your question? Go ahead. Oh, oh, okay. Now what do we do to solve or to figure out how many miles she can travel? M. How do we solve for M here? Okay, how do we solve the inequality? Sorry. We're going to subtract what? This gives us 65 cent M, right? Bring down the inequality. So now we have, very good, 14 minus the 275. See it? Because some people are like, what are you talking about? So when you subtract it, you get 11 dollars and what? 25 cent. Now what do you do to get M by itself? Divide both sides by 65 cent. Okay? So we got the 11 dollars and and 25 cent divided by 65 cent. And what does that give you? You can round it up to well, you round it to 17. You don't want to go past 17. Why would you not put 18? Because you don't have that much money. Okay? You have to round this down. So that would be 17. So M here is uh, less than or equal to how many miles? 17. Cannot go over 17, 17 miles. You won't have enough money. Any questions? Okay, did everybody get to number seven before I go over it? If you didn't, I want to give you a chance to try number seven before I actually do it. Did you all finish number seven? Did you all did y'all do number seven? Okay. I think it was did y'all do number seven? Okay. Keith has five hundred in his savings account um, at the beginning of the summer. He wants at least two hundred in his at the end. I'm sorry. Yeah, at the end of the summer, 
he withdraws 25 every single week okay how am i going to write this as an inequality okay how would i do that what do i write any ideas y'all said you did it don't be afraid to be wrong so what is wrong i knew when i walked around at some of your answers that they were wrong but i knew i was going to go over it and it's okay to be wrong come on what did you write you said somebody said 12 weeks let me write it over here 12 how do you write the inequality y'all yeah i mean we can do this logically but they're not going to ask you for the logic they're going to ask you for the inequality that's why i'm teaching inequalities 500 minus 25 and then a variable good let's use w for weeks and then we got this is going to be less than or equal to 200 so the amount of money has to be less than or equal to 200 are we going to have if we have a hundred dollars is that going to be okay is that at least 200 no so we're not going to use less than or equal to what we use greater than because it's okay to have 200 but it's not okay to have 100 because you're not gonna have enough does that make sense so you have to do greater than or equal to because it's okay to have 200 it's okay for this to be 300 but it's not okay for it to be smaller than 200 because at the end of the summer they want 200 dollars at least 200 any questions about that very good you did a great job what do i do to get my answer now how do i go about doing this minus 500 when i subtract 500 here this is a negative 25 w bring this down what do i get here negative 300 now what do i do divide both sides by negative 25 oops sorry y'all now um what is that going to do to my inequality it's going to flip it so it's going to go this way now right and what's uh, a negative divided by a negative a positive what's 300 divided by 25 any questions and you logically did it which is wonderful but it's not going to always ask you for the answer it may just ask you for the inequality you got to be able to write these as an inequality okay because it may just ask for the inequality and not even want the answer any questions are we ready for number nine or is still somebody working on number nine okay so let's look at nine okay it says the length the length of a rectangle some of you chose this is your length some of you said it's your width it, it's okay it's a rectangle it doesn't matter uh, i'll make my length this side right here so my length how long it is it's going to be four uh more than the width so that's the width plus four or four plus w any questions about how i got that so what else is going to be w plus four if this side is w plus four what other side is w plus four this one the opposite side is also w plus four okay does it tell me what w is what the width is no so we're gonna put w for width and we probably should have did the other way wouldn't it made more sense for this side to be longer than this side i mean but it's okay no worries y'all all right so now we're going to write we're going to do the perimeter it's saying the perimeter how do we write this expression for perimeter? What are we going to do? W, I'm going to write it here. W plus W, you said. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. Hold on. You said W plus W. W plus W plus W plus 4 plus W plus 4. You added all the sides together. And it says no more than 28 what inequality is going to go here 
less than or equal to. So it can't be any more than 28. So this has to be less than or equal to. Can it be 28? Yes, yes it can. So now what do we do to solve this inequality? Combine like terms. What terms can we combine here? W's. All the W's. What does that give me? Four. That gives me four W. And then add the fours together. What does that Plus give me? Eight. Plus eight. And sometimes we miss out because we don't write it all the way out and we forget, you know. So please write it all the way out. Even for me, even though some of that stuff I can do in my head, I still write it on paper so that I don't make so many mistakes. Okay. All right. Now, what do we do to solve for W? Subtract, eight. Subtract the eight. And that gives me four W bring down the less than or equal to what's this side? 20. 20 and what's, what do I do? Divide, divide by four. And what does that give me? Five. So the width is going to be less than or equal to what measurement? Five. Any questions? It's not going to go over five. Yeah, baby. Yeah, go ahead. Did y'all get the same answer? Can I see just to make sure your inequality is right? Um, the only thing I'm most concerned about is making sure that you understand how to write the inequality here. Did you write the inequality? Okay. Well, let me see it instead of explaining it. Can I just see it? Because sometimes I'm more visual than I am for you to just tell me what it is. So, okay. Where's the inequality? Oh, well, because I need an inequality because that's what they're going to ask for. What's the inequality? Not just the answer. They may ask for both, but you need to know how to write it as an inequality. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right, number 10. Everybody finish with number 10. Did you get it written, baby? Did you finish? Okay. Anybody, everybody tried number 10. Oh, not yet, you said? Okay, I'll pause for the calls because I can go over this. It's no big deal. I can finish this up tomorrow. Because you're still, most of us are still working on this, right? Okay. All right, so please work on this. Um, We got like one more minute and then we're going to wrap it up. 